In this short video I'm going to deal with the uh, training edge of the Sparsec rudder. I'll show you two modifications. As I've said before, these are not approved by Sparsec. One is for the little D plywood uh, end plates for the leading edge, uh, where I chop it a little bit short. Uh, there will be photos of those in the video. And uh, the second slight modification is I put a piece of carbon into the uh, micro balloon going along the trailing edge. Uh, and you see the end product uh, after I've finished that. Thank you and let's get on and look at the video. Right then, so uh, I've cut and uh, sanded the excess ply off. A bit of uh, I had a bit of problem with the camera battery not recording very well. Uh, what I was doing was I've uh, run resin down the groove. I've also uh, glued angle pieces uh, onto here, but uh, again I've done a little deviation uh, from the plans I'll talk about. So what I did was I cut the square section slightly shorter and I cut it at an angle so as the foam is on the leading edge is sanded it won't expose those bits of wood. But there's also yet another deviation uh, which I'm planning on uh, which is to uh, just put in some carbon. This isn't needed. My sort of favourite tool for this, you can see I've put masking tape down the line here. Uh, they suggest using um, a syringe, but I, I just don't have syringes to spare. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, just going to use a, a, a stick. So let's speed up the icing a bit. The consistency of this micro balloon mix is a sort of fairly dry. Uh, it's got so much micro balloon in that it won't run or drip, uh, but it's not so dry as I'd use for doing a final uh, fill layer. So now let's put some carbon in. I'm just going to sink that, he says, hopefully, into this resin mix. I've pre resined it with uh, just pure resin but then just to make life uh, you know we don't want excess resin so what I've done is I've just wiped it off quite literally on tissue and uh, I'm just going to pull here and hopefully that will sink right into that resin that uh, micro balloon line. So that's sunk in about half the depth of the uh, the micro balloon. So now I can uh, ice in on top. So again, we'll speed this a little bit up. Uh, I build it up in several layers uh, as I sort of go along, really being very careful not to have any air trapped in there, otherwise when you sand it you can end up with pinholes which you then need to fill and that's a pain. Uh, so as I said that piece of carbon is uh, I suppose about two millimetres down from the very edge of the plywood. Uh, we've got a sort of bead going along. It's not, it's not perfect at the moment, but I don't expect it to be because uh, it's going to be sanded down. It's slightly raised, but it's going to be about half of, half of that thickness there will, will go, maybe more. That has been uh, sanded smooth, nice and easily because of the uh, amount of micro balloon in there very slightly rounded, uh, I didn't make it hard, very hard and square but I haven't made it a complete semicircle there, I, I have rounded a bit so sharp corners tend to get knocked, paint tends to flake off and can be a problem uh, in service so just put a slight curve on there and that should help stop that from happening. 
And the whole lot will need to be uh, sanded and varnished and things anyway. So the next stage I've got to get to is uh, a mark on here uh, the positions for the leading edge frame bits which uh, I glued a little square section on so uh, they're all ready to go need a little bit so I just need to mark those up and they will sit sort of along there so where, where I've got <coughs> Right, so there's one, one there, one about there somewhere, and one up there. So I'm going to mark the positions. I'm not going to glue them in yet because I'm going to uh, chamfer the edge here, which in the instructions you can say it says you can do early or later, and you, you, you mark it 10 millimeters and you basically stand back one lamination. So I'm going to work out where these go mark up on here uh, where to sand so here it is how i saw sand uh i put a double layer of masking tape and then using a block i sanded and to just see a dead even line uh, i'm just touching the second laminate there so you can just see that build time ten and a half hours to this point thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.